All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we got a problem with some multiple decimals here. And a lot of you don't like decimals just as much as you don't like fractions, or you do not like fractions. Um, they, it's an opportunity for you to make more mistakes, right? When we have that decimal point, we kind of forget, oh, what do we, you know, how do I add, where do I move the decimal point, and so forth. So just like when we did the fractions, to get, eliminate fractions, what we did was we multiplied by the denominator if there was one fraction, or we multiplied by the least common denominator if there's multiple fractions. Because when solving our mathematical problems, we just got rid of the fractions, so we didn't have to worry about it, right? That was a big impasse, rig, a big kind of problem that was hurting a lot of us in solving our mathematics. Well, decimals is the exact same. Now, I know some of you aren't as scared of decimals because you just like plugging them into your calculator. But what if you're taking a test and you don't have a calculator, or you're not allowed to use a calculator? So it's really important for us to understand how we can manipulate decimals to help us out. Well, remember by fractions, we, there's a way to get rid of the fractions. There's also a way to get rid of the decimal points, and that's by moving the decimal point. We don't usually write 54.0. Unless we're measuring something, or we want to know the, va like the exact value, we just usually write it as 54, as its integer value, so, or just as the integer. So what I want to do is, if I can move these decimal points at the end of each one of these numbers, then I'm not really going to have to include the decimal point anymore. So it's very easy to say, oh, we'll just move the decimal point. But that's not exactly what we're doing. What we're doing is we're multiplying it by 100. And what that's going to do is it's going to magnify it so that decimal point is now going to be moved over about, um, a place two things. So 1.12 times 100 is equivalent to 112. Plus 1.125 times 100 is 125G equals 862. Now, really what I did was by multiplying this, you could say, you know, you move your decimal point over two units um, or two decimal places over at the end. And now I don't have to write those decimal places in. You could, but there's really, you know, there's no point. 54.0 is exactly the same as 54. So now I just have some bigger numbers, but I can just use my mathematics to help me out, right? Our one step, two step equations. So in here I have a two step equation to undo. Uh, adding 112, I'm going to subtract 112 from both sides. So I get 125G equals 750. Now, to un get my variable by itself, I need to divide by 125 on both sides. And what I get is G is equal to 6. Therefore, the value of G that's going to make this equation 2 is 6. You can plug it back in, check your answer, and there you go. Thanks for watching.